Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Okay, so welcome back everyone. We are on episode 4 of Life is Strange. Wasn't sure if it was safe to speak or not, right? Uh, so last episode, we broke in the school, found out about Rachel and Frank, Chloe didn't take it well, then we ended up going back in time and changing what happened with our dad. And it just didn't change it for the better. From what we've seen so far, anyways. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to don't talk about William. the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Well, I'm just Ronto. happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So Rachel's still missing. And Chloe's a totally different person because she hasn't met Rachel either. And obviously because she hasn't lost her dad. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, 
Can you, can you bring me some water? Let's go snoop around. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Wait, what? Mouth-controlled joystick. Okay. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. No. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I'm oh, happy. Just... Thank you for that. Don't you curl up and look at me like that. Can you give me them eyes? Hey. Little sod. Hot, we hot wheels. Nauseous. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. I'm glad you think so. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. That would suck, but at least you were trying to cheer up. Are you done, Kat? Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Cats tend to walk on top of my computer tower. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. There's like the oxygen on the back of it. Snow globes are taking over. A snow dough. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. Are you jumping down? Thank you. Pain in the ass. I'm just sitting in front of the monitor. That is fine. Hang on, I'll just lift that up so I can see. Thank you. Pain in the ass. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals Stop now. Stop it. Um, the sky is glitching. It was glitching. <sighs> That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. <coughs> At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. 
Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I can't breathe. Okay, so I'll just take it with a water. Oh, what's that? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more. No more bongs for her. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. It seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Do I see that? Yeah, Can they see that. pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay. Try and search your drawers now. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Oh, that was fast. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Hi, Rich Power. Now we have a movie night. DVD. Happy. He's so cute. No. 
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Can I just add morphine to a drip? This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Eight thousand. Christ. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, oh go away, Doria. Doria? Oh, wait, 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 what's these? Oh my god, she like, didn't even give us a chance to answer. I don't want to message you. Oh wow. Okay, so let's see if these. Wow, she took that long to message back. Taylor? Max, you around in the dark room to vote shots for the test contest. Sweet, so no two words for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. How are you friends with him in this one? Some of your bills. Are you there? Yes. Give me some time to answer. I should give you plenty of time to answer. <laughs> okay. Wow. I should be a total bitch in this one. 
What's your set of dad? Oh, that's all. Well. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Well. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Jesus. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Can't imagine what they were going through. Okay, let's talk to William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> so you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Yeah, I'm crazy with her. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... lose her someday. 
The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Wow. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Just to look after Chloe. Wow. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Boys, I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I would be too. I feel too. so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? That's how these biscuits. Go. Um. I guess we stopped growing up together. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Total coincidence. Sorry, cat, I forgot you were there. And then kicked him. Right, this is the bathroom. Maybe I'll snip around to the parents' room first. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Of course it is. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Bird flies in the window. Bonk. That would be upsetting. Oh, Joyce! Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. <laughs> I didn't know she was there. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Why does William look like uh, Warren? And Joyce kind of looks like... Um, uh, 
That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. What's her name? Taylor, kind of. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. I love that Joyce is just right there. Doesn't care. I'm snipping. Sucks. So really, she's gonna die inevitably. Joyce is already a super mom. Hi, Good Joyce. morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc maybe arcadia bay just wants to be left alone i know the feeling honestly i don't give a shit about too much outside our house i don't blame you joyce except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door so maybe i should care for chloe's sake do you know somebody named david madsen he um might hang out at the two whales well that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Aww. Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Hi, Joyce. I'm just gonna steal some morphine. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Here it is. 
I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. No. Nothing here. You've already got what you need. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Costs more though. But swish off, you gotta save the environment. Go downstairs. I thought something was gonna happen there. This insurance is worthless. Wait, can I go outside? It's open. What's that? What? The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Oh, shh, 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 shh. No, stop, 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 stop it. I wish there was a way to stop that. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But. You passed on before I changed this reality. Aww. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. I'm going this way. No. All right then. Hi, hey, William. How's it going? Um. Right. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because I don't want the episodes to be too long. But please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and feel free to leave a comment if you like to. And I'll see you all next time.